the U.S. territories, right, which would include Guam, uh, the U.S. Virgin Islands, American Samoa, the Northern Mariana Islands, and Puerto Rico, are exempt from Obamacare. Now, you might wonder why. Why are they so fortunate that they get let off the hook? Well, here's the reason that they're exempt. See, it was originally going to be, part, you know, a requirement there. But in Puerto Rico and the other islands, they're not subject to the U.S. income tax. And, and so the penalty associated with not buying insurance is uh, through the income tax. And the way you're penalized is the IRS will uh, garnish your refund, right? But if you're in Puerto Rico or you're in Guam or the Virgin Islands, the IRS does not, is not involved because you're not paying U.S. income taxes. So basically, there was no penalty tax. So there was still the requirement, right, that insurance companies not discriminate based on pre-existing conditions. But there was no penalty for people for not buying. So the predictable result is that no young people are buying at all. Zero. The only people that want insurance now in those territories are sick people who need the money immediately. And so the insurance companies were pulling out of the islands. They wouldn't even sell insurance policies because they couldn't make any money because no healthy person would buy because there was no penalty for not buying. And since they couldn't discriminate, so the whole insurance industry was going to collapse uh, in those territories if they didn't get an exemption, which apparently they did. And so now it doesn't apply. So insurance companies are free to discriminate based on pre-existing conditions in those uh, territories. They can't do it in the 50 states, but they can do it in the territories. So the only real provisions of Obamacare that apply there is that insurance companies do have to provide free uh, birth control, which is unfortunate because that will drive up the price of insurance uh, in those territories more than it should be. And also uh, the fact that they can't pr impose a lifetime cap on payments, which again will also uh, increase the cost. But at least they're out from under some of the more onerous provisions. So the government has done some damage uh, to the territories, but not as much damage as they're doing to the 50 states. So yet another reason for people to move to Puerto Rico, you know, not only do you get out from under uh, the U.S. income tax, uh, but you also get out from under Obamacare. And by the way, the Obamacare tax on dividends and capital gains, you're also exempt from that. So not only do you not have to pay the Obamacare taxes, but you don't have to live under the Obamacare system. Plus, uh, you get the benefit of no uh, U.S. income taxes, uh, no tax in, at all on capital gains and dividends, and a meager 4% tax on your business income if you structure your business uh, in the proper manner. But again, it's, this whole story shows you how Obamacare can't work. And it's not going to work in the mainland either because the penalties are not high enough. So it's just going to take longer for the whole thing to collapse and for all the insurance companies to go out of business in the United States and to stop offering insurance here. And, of course, when that happens, the government will have to come in and rescue us uh, with socialized medicine. So look out for that.